This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today, we're going to take a look at the featured build sets and the armor in the new Sipta DLC. Let's get to it. So first off, I know what you're thinking. You're like, FireSpark, why are you in the Exile lands showing this stuff off? Well, because I don't want your view of the build sets and the armor and all the fancy prettiness to be skewed by the new map. So we're in the Exile lands, something that you're familiar with something that you're probably blind to at this point so that the pieces speak for themselves. Okay, so the first set here that we're taking a look at is the Storm Glass. We're going to take a look here at this foundation. You can see it is tier three. And uh, I just realized it's got cool carvings on the side of it. That's freaking awesome. That's cool. Okay, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's what the foundation looks like. Pretty much the same from all sides. Let's get, get you the top view here. That's what the top of it looks like. And then we have the triangle piece or the wedge. Same thing. Very detailed. Come up to the top. There's the top. Moving right along. We have the glass. Look at that. It's actual glass. You can see straight through it. You can see the pieces on the other side. Looks awesome. It's all like dingy. It's old glass. It's not any new glass. It's not any of that fancy stuff you see in the mods where it's like that fancy perfect glass. No, this is old, old glass. Like when they were first learning how to make glass. That's what this is. Looks pretty cool. And then we have the wall. Wall. And that's the front side there. It's the inside here, back side. Then we have the... Why is the door... Any day now animation... For some reason, the door's not popping in. That's not what the door should look like. It it was way fancier than that and more detailed. I don't know why it's being wonky right now. No, it's just not, uh, it's not sharpening up and I'm not sure why. Maybe that's a bug. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, that kind of sucks because you can't really see the door in all of its glory. Well, um... Yeah, that's kind of lame. Anyway, uh, then we have the, the frame for the door. Nice and detailed. Then we have the wedge pieces or the slope pieces. Yeah, slope pieces. Then we have this little guy, the cap, because, uh, you know, I kind of missed the cap, so I just kind of stuck it here in the back. But that's the cap. And then uh, more of these sloped pieces, all of your different angles, all of that. Continuing on, we have the ramps and the stairs. So this is the ramp, or it could be a sloped roof piece. That's the underside of it. Pretty much the same on both sides. Still looks nice, though. Then we have the uh, glass skylight, which looks really good. And of course, you can see straight through it, as you saw there. You can see down to the ground. You can see up. Looks absolutely fantastic. Then the stairs. Stairs are pretty plain. Nothing fancy to those stairs there. Then we have um, uh, the ramp with the railing, which, or is that the sloped roof? Hold on. Oh, that's a sloped roof. That's why I wasn't able to walk up it easy. This one, this one we can walk up super easy, but this is sloped roof here. And you can't really walk up. There's like a catch there. It's not really, the model's not where, well, the, the bounding box, that's the word I'm looking for, is not tight to the model. And then we have the underside. I like how it's got the like little divots in it. Then we have whatever this piece here is called. Was this called the ramp corner? The underside of the ramp corner. Then all of these different rooftop pieces. So these are, uh, they're just all rooftop pieces. You can see their HP there. HP for that, that real quick, 70k. It's pretty much what you'd expect from tier 3 stuff, so we're not going to look at detail at all of those. It's tier 3 build pieces. It's all. It's the same as all other tier 3 build pieces. I do like that it's got a lot of texture. Like, I love all the texture. The cap, the like the little uh, falcons or dragons or whatever those, whatever that you want them to be. Then we have more glass. That's actually glass. You can see through it. See the other side there. You can see through the other side. The cap for the glass. More cap cornered and all of that good stuff. Pieces. A lot of once again a lot of texture and the little uh, little gargoyle pieces there on the on the tips. It's uh, very like cathedral ish castle ish really cool 
It almost has the um, a Bioshock feel to it. Almost, maybe, kind of. I don't know. What do you think? I think it does a little bit. Stairs. Underside of the stairs, just blank. More stairs. Underside of those stairs, blank. Then we have all of these awning pieces. So awning and it's glass once again. So let me show you here. And you can see, well, and you can see through it. Same thing with this one. Straight through. Okay, uh, let's get you a good view. There you go. Of the awning pieces. Then we have the ceiling pieces. So we have the wedge ceiling and the underneath. Let's swap views here so you can see underneath of it. There you go. Same thing with the normal ceiling. That's just your normal square ceiling. And then top down view. And this is the hatch. Well, look, the hatch door is not working right either. It's not not popping in so you can see it in detail. Wonder why it's low res like that. The gates popped in. Look, the gates full detail. That's weird. The door's still not popped in. Yeah, that's a strange bug. Anyway, hatch. I wish you could see it better. I mean, just picture that being sharper. <laughs> Squint your eyes. Then we have the crenellations and the fence. And then they have all of the arena sloped sloped roof piece or what 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 are these called? Bolted ceilings. That's the word I'm looking for. I love the texture on the inside of these. Like look at that. Hold on, that's way too close. Look at that freaking texture in there. That's so cool. It looks so good. I got to hand it to like the art department over there at Funcom working on this game is top tier. Say whatever you want about the game. I'll agree with you. Buggy, mass, all that stuff. Crap AI, you you call it. But their art department, top tier. Once again, all like jaggedy and stuff inside. Looks like it's been carved, just chunked out. Same with this one. And I like the little tiny gold pieces. Just kind of like the little... Whatever those are called. Spikes? You want to call them spikes? Let's call them spikes. I like the little gold spikes right there. They look really cool. And that's a sl big sloped one there. Big side vault. Once again, it's all jaggedy. And there you go. And then we have the gate. Oh, now the gate's not popping in. Now the gate looks weird. Okay, so let's back up. So there's the gate sharp. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these doors. I swear they were fine a minute ago. That's so weird. Anyway, gate, gate looks, it's gate, looks good. It's all cracked and broken and stuff. It's got some little spikies there at the top of it. Yeah, looks great. And then we have the pillar. And then more of the, the roof pieces. There's the underside, underside of that one, underside of that one, and that one. Okay, let's go over to the flotsam. We got to hurry up here. We're, uh, we're, we're taking up a lot of time. So we're just going to kind of breeze through quickly here. There's not as many flotsam pieces right from the get-go. Like, not as many flotsam pieces as there are the uh, storm glass. But I do like the foundations, how they have the barrels in them. And you can see through them. Like, they, they, they took it up a notch on these a little bit. Look at that. Look at the texture in there. Hold on. Let me, um, like, look at that texture through there. How it's layered. So good. And then uh, this is the normal foundation. The so normal foundation, pretty much the same. Okay, let's breeze through these really quick. The window. Then we have the wall. Got a lot of textures. The wall, look how it sticks out there. The other side. The other side of the window. And then we have all of the sloped pieces. But these sloped pieces have like a curve to them. They're not straight. They're all curvy to leave like gaps and stuff. I want to build something in this set so bad. And then we have the railing, or the fence, sorry, fence, railing, whichever. Then we have the crenellations, which is the same, just doesn't have the rope tied over it. And we have the ramp, underside of the ramp. This underside of the ramp actually has texture to it. The storm glass did not, it was just completely smooth. And then we have the ramp corner, inside of the ramp corner. And then the stairs, I like that you can see through the stairs, they're open, they have that nice open feel. Look at these with the railing on them. And then the corner stairs, 
And then we have a bunch of just tattered roof pieces that look like you just stitched sails together. So a bunch of different caps for whatever. I don't know. I can never use these properly. I'm sure you builders know what you're looking at. But they look good. You can't deny it. And then there's a cap. See that? That's your triangle piece. Your triangle fill-in piece, like that one over there, uh, right over there. You see him over there yonder? That one that I misplaced? That one, that's this. It has like the cap or the steering wheel thing and stuff sticking out. You know, words. It's, it's, you can see it. Anyway, then you have all of your little chunky sections of roof. Your little wedges and stuff. And they all have holes in them and you can like see through the holes and stuff. Did you notice that? Like, look, you can see straight through there. See that down there? And then sloped one and they're all curved. It's a very curvy set. Looks like you took a chunk of the ship there. I'm gonna kind of breeze through these real quick because you get the general idea. Then we have the awnings. Awnings look really good as well. Awning. Underneath of the awning. Underneath and underneath. Okay, and moving right along to the pillar. It's just a straight mast. <laughs> it looks like you took a chunk of mast. And then we have the ceiling pieces. So there's your wedge ceiling piece and your square ceiling piece. Let's get you the underneath view. There's underneath. Underneath. And then last, but well, the, actually this isn't last. We got two more. So this is your hatch. Backside of the hatch there. And then look at that. Look at the gate. How good does that look? That looks fantastic. And it's very textured, super textured set. Open it up. Backside of the gate there is, the backside's kind of boring, but the outside, outside looks fantastic. The thing is, it's like, it looks so good. You're gonna wanna build in it, but it's tier one. This is all tier one. Uh, let me show you the HP on the, there you go. Yeah, it's all, all tier one stuff. 10K, your walls, 7K. Follows right along with all the other. Um, and then we have the door. And there you go. Door looks great on both sides. Super textured. Okay, I'll stop saying textured. One more time. Textured. Okay, moving on to the armor sets. So this is your light armor, which is called Slave Forge Ceremonial Armor. And this is your light armor. We'll look at all the stats here in a second. And there it is on the mail. Actually, let me, let's do this so you can see it really good. Here we go. So here it is on the mail. And then we'll come around here to the back. And the side. And the same thing with female, side. And then the front. Then you can pause. I'm not going to stay on it for too long. You can just pause the video and then the back. Okay. And then we have the medium armor. This armor is called the Slave Forged Sacrificial Armor. So here it is on the mail. This is once again, this is your medium armor. This looks very steampunky to me. Oh, hold on. There's your side view. Back. Other side. Okay, and then to the female, there's the front of the female. Side. And back. Okay, and last but not least, we have the heavy armor. The heavy armor is called Slave Forged Guardian Armor. This armor looks kind of like, oh, what is it? There's another armor that set that we have. It looks very similar to another heavy armor set. I can't think of it right offhand. Let me know down in the comments. I'm sure you know. You're looking at it and you're like, that looks exactly like blah, blah, blah. It does. It looks very familiar. It almost looks like a reskin. I don't want to say it's a reskin because I haven't compared, but uh, it looks very familiar. So there it is on the female backside. Okay, and on the male, front, the back, and the side. It looks good though. I'm not going to sit here and say it doesn't look good because it does look good. But this one, I really like this one. 
which is why I'm wearing it. I don't care for the mask on that one. I like the mask on this one, although I'll never wear it. It looks very like, almost looks like it feels like the brain's exposed at the top, even though it's covered, but it looks great. Okay, let's look at the stats. I'm going to stop yammering because we're eating up a buttload of time here. So this is your light armor. We take a look here. It gives you bonus vitality on all of the pieces. We're going to ignore the heating and cold because I, I haven't really dove into it yet. It looks like it gives you one of both. I, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll just straight out tell you. You can see what it does there. You can see the values on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them all just really quick. So real quick on the, this is your basic there we go. And now we have the exceptional. And then you can just add up the armor values. I'll just click through them real quick. And then we have the flawless. And then we have the epic tier normal. And then we have the exceptional epic tier. And then we have the exceptional flawless epic and you can see that the epic flawless version gives me plus nine to my vitality okay on to the medium set so here's your your basic set and it gives you strength on all of the pieces okay we're going to click through to the exceptional and then the flawless and now the epic base ver version. And now the basic epic. Exceptional epic. And then the flawless epic. And you can see a full set of the epic flawless version of this armor it gives you nine to strength. And finally, we have the heavy armor. So this gives you grit on all of the pieces. Okay, we're going to go to the exceptional basic, flawless basic, now the epic first tier, and the epic exceptional tier, and last but not least, the epic flawless tier. And the epic flawless version of this, of course, gives us 9 to grit. Okay, so let me know what you guys think about these build sets and these armors down in the description. Even if you're not into the DLC, I completely understand. Uh, but give me your opinion. What do you think about them? I think they look great. I think their art department does an absolutely amazing job on pretty much everything they do. The build sets look fantastic. The armors look fantastic. And they really, I mean, they feel pretty different. Like this here doesn't, it feels almost out of place for Conan. Doesn't it? I mean, I think it does. Let me know what you think. This one, the, the, the face mask, I mean, it almost, the, the rest of it do, feels Conan-ish, but that face mask doesn't. This one, all of it kind of feels out of place to me. It almost feels like something from Mad Max or something like that almost out of genre. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with that? What do you think it looks like it's from? Do you think it fits in with Conan? I'm interested to hear your opinions. Okay, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider in that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.